Yo, so if there's one thing I'm against, it's this whole idea of what style should be when it comes to being a dad. So like this dad style, like you supposed to wear these big ass shoes, tight jeans, flimsy baseball cap, or you supposed to just look raggedy and worn down all the time. For me being a dad, I can't rock like that. So with that being said, we gonna talk about how to style as a dad, put some emphasis on your style. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know the vibes. This is where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. So hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and y'all know the rest, man. Make sure you show some love while dropping that comment down below. All right, now today we are talking about dad style. Like I said before in the intro, like I'm just against this whole idea of what dad style look like. I'm not against people that actually dress comfortable, but at the same time, for you to put a staple in it and say, this is what all dads look like this is a dad style these super fat new balance sneakers that's crazy that's something i can't rock with so i'm gonna show you some actual ways that i style up with me being a dad my baby is never gonna get to that point where she like oh my god my dad is out here looking bogus so we're about to show you four to five different styles that i have put together and to show you like what they look like and what they are really used for and why i use them so with that being said let's just jump right into it y'all know how we do it let's go all right y'all now the first style is literally what I'm wearing right now it's the camp shirt style so a lot of people are saying that it's oversaturated because everybody is wearing all of these camp shirts and everything like that man it don't matter if a lot of people if a million or 10 million people is wearing it it doesn't matter if you know how to put it together and you look good in it then you should be good to go so you shouldn't be worrying about what everybody else is wearing the idea is to make it look good when you are wearing it it's, it's more so a laid back style because it's a very thin shirt you want to feel the breeze of the wind and everything because nine times out of ten when people are wearing it it's hot it's hell wear something that complements the shirt so you want to wear something that also breathes as well so you can wear some boots sneakers loafers and you will still look good at the same time. Now, I will say before I go to the next style, I will say out of all these styles, your accessories need to be on point. So whether you're wearing watch, rings, chains, glasses, hats, whatever you wear as an accessory, that's really gonna be the guide to your style. That's gonna be your key to help you guide with your style essential pieces and wear a lot of different accessories to mix and match with your style and you'll be on point all right now next up is another style that's really casual it's laid back it's chill now a lot of people may think like it's all about the glitz and glamour and bling and everything like that but remember the style that you have right now is about dad style this is more casual so what you'll see here is some nice chino pants and you'll see a nice sweatshirt depending on how you switch it up with your sneakers and you have specific accessories you can make this look very casual presentable anywhere you go so this is kind of like i could pick my kid up from school i could still go to a kickback if i need to or if i just have to sit down at their gymnasium and watch them while they're doing the extracurricular activities you will still look good no matter where you go what this style is it's more of a i'm laid back i look good i smell good and i got money you don't always have to be super flat to show that you got money you'll see that this is a very presentable outfit and at the same time it shows youth and at the same time it still shows that i'm very mature with my style so this is your more so casual look for look style number two now what you have here is for style number three is something that you could wear for a date night it's something that's real chill laid back you can wear this as essential pieces but at the same time again if you wear actual accessories that matches with everything that you wear you will have a nice fit put together well now what you see here is that I have a nice over jacket and I have an earth tone shirt, just a simple t-shirt, but it is a perfect fit. Now what to make this all come together is some nice pants. So you'll see that I have this black on black, black at the top, black at the bottom, and then I finish it out with some nice sneakers. Yes, I am a sneaker guy, but if I wanted to, I don't want you all to shy away from wearing any other type of shoes. You don't also, you don't always have to wear sneakers. I'm just really into sneakers. I could get some boots, I could get some loafers, and I can actually style these up however I want to. But just again, make sure that you are complimenting your accessories with the outfit that you are getting. So again, 
this can be used for date night, day day, or something like that. But at the same time, just make sure that you are having some fun with your style. All right, now for the fourth style is more of a lifestyle type of fit. Because if you have a denim jacket, it's already gonna set that style off the right way. Now, if you have a perfect cut or a perfect fit, depending on where you buy it from, will make the style even 10 times better. Now, the cut that I have is more of a boxier fit. It's more of a cropped it jacket. So you'll see that this is more on the stylish side. So I'm being more presentable is giving a youthful look and at the same time is giving more of a cleaner classier look now if I wanted to I could style this with a button down a polo or a regular t-shirt and then I could also have some pants that I actually enjoy so again right here what I have is something that complements my body style is a box fit I'm a bigger guy it gives a box fit a crop fit at the same time I could wear any type of style that I want to It's relaxed it's casual and it gives this upfront approachable outfit and approachable style so Style number four. All right, and your last style is my favorite, is streetwear. Streetwear does not have any rules and you don't have to dress a specific way in order for you to be a dad. You don't have to dress in this whole worn down type of style. You can be vibrant as you want to. So what my style is, is streetwear style. What you're gonna have here is your cargo pants. You'll see that you also have a fisherman's vest. And at the same time, you'll see a simple dope shirt from Escrow Market. And if I wanted to, I could jazz it up with a hat or I could leave it as is. If I wanted to beef it up a little bit more, I'm going to add the extra accessories on top of that and make sure that I have some fire sneakers to go along with the piece. You dig. Now again, this is more so having fun when it comes to streetwear. It has no rules. And even if you are a dad, look, listen, being a dad doesn't mean that you have to dress worn down and everything like that. You can still have fun. It doesn't matter what age you are. If you are a pops and you enjoy a specific style, wear just that. There is no rules to this man enjoy how you actually style and put your pieces together and hey you might inspire your kids to dress just more as stylish as you so with that being said man i'll catch up with y'all next time man i'm your homeboy camp quarter banks thanks for tuning in with me i'll catch up on y'all on the next video y'all already know how it go man i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all you peace